Hey girl, hey! It's so good to see you again back here on my channel. It's your girl Jen Scene, aka Jungle Naps. Today I wanted to just do a look using products from my Best in Beauty series, the higher end type of products. And this is what I came up with. I'm really sure that you'll enjoy it. And please be sure to let me know what your favorite products from the tutorial were down in the comments. Now, now, the next clip that you'll see, uh, my hair is looking a mess, but you know what? The final product came out really nice, <laughs> so bear with me. But um, yeah, so I'm not going to chat too much. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so I know I look really interesting right now. <laughs> I just curled my hair and I wanted to give my hair some time to cool down so that the curls will set before I go ahead and style it. So I do have my uh, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base on already. I just put that on as my moisturizer. It doubles as a primer and moisturizer if you don't know. It's incredible. I'm literally like scraping the sides of the bottle because it's expensive and I want to make sure I use every little bit. Now for my oily areas I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Matte Perfection in my T-zone, my nose, and my chin. So I'm really surprised that I ended up liking this primer as much because you know it is kind of expensive and I really wasn't sure whether or not it was going to deliver on its promise but I have to say like ever since I bought it during the summer it's been amazing. It really delivers on its promise to hold back those oils. Now I'm oily combination so if you're super oily, I imagine that you probably will have to bake if you want to, you know, wear it super long term without having to touch up. Yay! So foundation, uh, I love this foundation guys. The Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. This thing will just stay on. Like you barely have to touch up. I barely have any smile lines, crease lines, all that stuff, um, which, oh my gosh, we can't forget, we gotta put primer in the smile lines. I can't believe I almost forgot that. Another favorite of mine, this Clarins Instant uh, Smooth Perfecting Touch. You only need a little bit. I just literally use like that much and I rub it in with my hands to just kind of smooth out and then I apply it using tapping motions. So usually I will let that sit for like, 10 minutes or something to let it dry but with the Smashbox foundation since it is pretty much like it's a no budge foundation it's I wouldn't say it's like super matte but it's demi matte and it really won't move around around my smile line so I'm fairly confident I've even used this without that uh primer and it's still great I just like to you know be a little bit extra. <laughs> so I usually go in with about three to four pumps. I put two pumps at first just to kind of dab all over my face. I know it looks light now but believe me by the time I'm done blending this out it's definitely going to uh, turn out into a really nice color. Doesn't that look like so flawless but it still looks like my skin. That's what I love about this foundation so much. Now this is like my favorite concealer. I always, always, always reach for it. I keep it right in my everyday makeup stash. This is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And one of the reasons why I love it so much is the coverage and the doe foot applicator is so nice. It's like the perfect size so that I can really get what I need to get done quickly, you know what I mean? Now I'm gonna blend this out with my Flower Beauty sponge. And I always feel like it looks just like so flawless. Um, I am going to be setting these with some powders because obviously I don't want any creasing or anything like that. So I'm a little bit bougie with my powders. Uh, I'm gonna be using three powders today. The first one to set all that powder is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. And I just love the container that it comes in. It never gets too messy. It just keeps everything like contained. And see, look at the set side and the side that's not set. It just looks like so nice, but it doesn't really 
like dull it down too much. It doesn't create any flashback. It, it looks beautiful. So for contour, I'm gonna go back to an old favorite. Now, you guys might have remembered when I reviewed the Smashbox Studio Skin Stick Foundation. And although I love the foundation, you know, it really, it did not last long at all. And it's just too expensive of a product to keep repurchasing it. However, I love the bottom contour. Like, I still have so much of it left. And um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this to contour my face. It blends out like a freaking dream. Like, I wish they would just sell this alone, just the contour, because I would just repurchase it again and again. Now see, look how like instantly snatched I am. Um, awesome, it looks looks amazing. <laughs> For bronzer, I'm gonna switch to Old Faithful. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills in Mahogany. I'm sure I've told you guys this story many times. When I first got this, I hated it. <laughs> I was like, ew, this just doesn't look right with my skin. And it does tend to work better with foundations that are darker on me. Today I'm gonna be using the Royal and Lane Nickel. This is the contour brush and just dipping it in here. This stuff does have quite a bit of fallout in here so I always tap off the excess okay now before we go ahead and get started with the eyes I'm gonna take my derma blend warm saffron setting powder and I'm just going to put it right underneath here to catch any fallout because I'm a little scared I don't want to mess up this nice base that we have going on and I want to say that for the price of this powder you get so much of it the translucent one is also really great if you do want to kind of make your makeup sweat proof um, you know not waterproof but like it just really will keep it from budging but I like the warm saffron one because I feel like it complements my skin tone way better for under the eyes and just setting the face in general. Now for eyes I really want to do something cool. I'm going to take my Pat McGrath my beautiful Pat McGrath palette. This is the Mothership 5, and I'm also going to be using the Dose of Colors Dazzling Katie Frankation palette. Now, of course, before we play with those, we've got to prime the eyes. This is my favorite Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer. I use this all the time. If you guys watch any of my tutorials <laughs> or any video where I talk about doing eye makeup, I'm always using this. So one thing I love about this is it really makes the eyeshadow pop on the lids. I first got this when the Moroccan Spice palette launched and it's quickly become one of my favorites. I'm also going to take my Fenty powder and just set it right where my eyelids crease. Now, first things first, listen, I love this palette so much. And it's one of those palettes that doesn't look too, like, amazing when you look at it online. But when you see it in person, it's so beautiful. The mattes blend like a dream. So the first one for the transition, I'm going to go into this one. Uh, I believe it's Churo and uh, go ahead and apply that in the transition area. Now I'm gonna go into this pretty shade Girl By, another really, really great transition shade, and I especially love it mixed with Churro. All right, so now we get to play with the Mothership palette. I'm gonna go in with this color, and oh my gosh, I don't even know the name of it, because um, <laughs> I threw away my insert, but it is this one right here, this really nice kind of smoky, bronzy color. That's the best way I can describe it. Now, to go on top of uh, that bronzy shade, I'm gonna take uh, this one right here. I know it looks really, really bright, but it actually looks really nice as a topper on most of the shades in this palette. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and sweep some of this away. Last minute, I decided I wanted to quickly go in with this shade right here, Cheens, because I do want to deepen the outer crease. Now, for a liner, I'm going to go in with one of my faves. This is the um, the Balm Schwing Liner. And I love it because its tip is so precise, and it's a true, like, deep, deep black color. So as you can see, here is that precise wing, and it really helps me, especially with my hooded eyes, because 
because sometimes it's really really hard even if I am trying to create a wing just to like get it in there properly you know what I mean so this isn't my best eyeliner work but you know I'll go with it <laughs> for lashes I'm gonna go with batty beat lashes um, I have the container here but somehow it ended up in this <laughs> and even though this isn't exactly in my list for you know like best lashes or I mean I don't know if it's really high end I guess they're not that bad I don't think the price range is too bad but they are a very dramatic very va va voom night out on the town kind of lashes see if she is coming together she is looking good these lashes really are that like extra va va voom touch <laughs> so for blush i mean what else this is my favorite the mac and patrick star take me home blush i have a lot of other blushes and i love the two faced blushes that i've told you guys about but this one is like my favorite it is when you open it up it's got a matte side that's deeper and this looks like a shimmer but it doesn't really show up as too much of a shimmer i just like to take my brush in here and like swirl it and see it's just like the perfect hint it's not too much you could build it up if you want to but it looks so gorgeous now i definitely want to make my highlight pop so i'm going to go ahead and use the anastasia liquid glow i have two shades uh the one i'm going to use today is bronze and i literally only want a little bit because this stuff is so pigmented i'm just going to take a little bit so you can see right there on the back of my hand i'm going to get this much I'm also going to carry this over to where my temples are. And now to go ahead and refresh my makeup, I'm using the Fresh Vitamin and Nectar uh, Glow Water Mist and just spritzing that all over my face. This thing smells amazing and it really does kind of make your face just look like luminous without looking oily. Now before that completely dries down, I'm going to take my Artist Couture in Jackie Ina. This is the Le Peach. Now I've been showing the bronze a lot of love recently so I was like you know what it's time to show the peach some love too bam she was like she popping uh, I always forget how much these highlights just glow okay so I'm gonna spritz another layer of this and then I'm going to take my curls down and then we're gonna get into some lips okay so the hair is popping now see you bared with me <laughs> through the you know pinned up curls but uh she looks good she looks real 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 cute i like it so i'm thinking you know what let's go with a ombre red lip i think the eyes are beautiful and they're sparkly but they're not like too much that would overpower a red lip so let's go ahead and do it my favorite lip combo of all time is the mac night moth pencil okay and you combine it with the fenty uncensored these two together are like heaven. So as you can see, this is how the ombre look turned out. I really, really like it. It does take some back and forth between the uncensored lip paint and the lip liner, just making sure you get that right and then smoothing it out and then defining it a bit more. But once you get it, it looks so good. I absolutely wish that this was like a transfer proof lip paint but it's not <laughs> so if you're gonna be eating or anything this is probably not like the best lipstick because you are gonna have to touch up um, but it does look really really bum this look right so let me know if you guys really like today's holiday look I think it turned out really awesome it's super classy um, so Hopefully this inspires you to recreate this using similar products or the same exact product, whatever you've got, you know. As always, don't forget to check out some of my other videos in the Best in Beauty series. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!